everybody, it's Zach here from Zach's Lego Show and Zach Attack Productions, and today I am super excited to tell you that we are connected. Now, what does that mean? I'll tell you in a minute, but first I want to make sure that you hit the subscribe button to the Zach Attack Productions YouTube channel, and it's really fast, it's free, it's easy, and I get to do more of this for you, so you'll be getting all my unfiltered um, content, especially Lego content, if you hit the subscribe button. All right, back to it. This is something I've been I've been wanting to do for a while, is find a way to connect the city of Legoville, over here, to this way, over he to this area over here. And I've struggled for the longest time. It's It just never really seemed feasible until I really got my head together and have, and clearly I have a bunch of these road plates so I thought I'd stick those together and attach them to this highway right here. This highway that goes all the way down there, straight into that tunnel. And when you're traveling, go over the bridge and then you come here over what is called the Legoville connector. Now this, like I mentioned, is made from uh, the road plates that, I, that continue to still be available, oddly enough. Um, so go get them while you can, if you want to do something like this. But yeah, so the road plates over here, and then I comes down in like a ramp style. If you're coming from here, you go there, then you go down that way. And I did do it like in an L shape. Um, yeah, so that's kind of really what the connector is. All right, I'm gonna flip this off and I'm gonna show you kind of how it all connects together, I guess. So this is clearly what's holding the, um, the pieces together here. You can see all these different plates that align down there, really giving it a sturdy, sturdy structure there. And of course, it is um, the normal way, connected the normal way here using these tile pieces all throughout so that's kind of really, you know, what's holding it up. Nothing fancy or too technical here. Just a bunch of plates stacked on the under uh, side of these. And that's actually pro tip. If you're doing something like this with the road plates and they're elevated, make sure you have a bunch of plates underneath because if you're depending on these, uh, that's just going to become very flimsy and it's going to fall apart real fast. And one of the things I had struggled with this is this corner here because as you can see this um, road where it turns here I was kind of having a tough time with that because it's really flimsy over here but I did find a way to fix that and we're gonna take a look at that coming up right now so what you're looking at right here is the best possible solution I could have come up with this large support beam that just sticks right out and by the way this is four plates thick with, and that's not including these tile pieces right here. So that really helps out the corner, kind of where that part turns, because it was, like I said before, it was very flimsy and not very sturdy. So if a vehicle, maybe not such as a small Lego vehicle, but if I had a large truck, such as this one, such as this one right here, come around when I tested it out, like it just fell completely. So. I'm really, ex I'm really, really thrilled that that piece actually works um, the way it does. It's not perfect. It's not an exact science, but anywho, that's exactly what happens there. So I'm going to put the connector back up and we're going to take a look at kind of how vehicles tend to stay on this connection with a bit of ease. So as you can see surrounding the road of the connector, you can see I have these blue wall panels you can see right there and they go pretty much all the way down there. And I really wanted to use something that, you know, could put driver's minds at ease while crossing it so they don't, you know, fall deep down to the depths below. So you see, that's really what I went with. Um, I got, and yes, I got your concerns about, oh my God, there's no barriers. Oh my God, they're going to fall. And I just want to reiterate, this is a work in progress. Um, I haven't really gotten to that point yet when I posted the photos. So um, there you go. 
There you go. I hope your mind can be put at ease right now. And I've also been getting your suggestions about making this like a drawbridge, kind of like having it open up in the middle. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I, I just kind of want to be done with this connector here. I just got to put, you know, up some signs and all that. And I just, I just, to be fair, I just want to be done. So that's kind of uh, where I'm going with this right now. Now, I know what you're thinking, Zach, where do you go after you cross the connector? Well, let's head over to the medieval display. You can see you cross the connector and you start going into the outskirts of the city. You can see there's more and more nature with, you know, trees there. Um, yeah, so trees there and also down here you got a beautiful pathway so you could see the medieval village that is across the, the, uh, the passage there. So yeah, so this is something I've also been working on in conjunction with this because I just knocked over two palm trees. Fantastic. You see right here goes from one side to the other and you can right here step on this uh, platform. Just look out and see, oh yes, the rare multicolored dolphins. And if I pull this back, once again, the medieval village and the castle. So lots of fun stuff right there. And of course, you can see that coming right off the passage there too. So lots of great stuff. Alrighty, I'm going to sign off. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe to the Zach Attack Productions YouTube channel. Um, with August 1st around the corner, I will be doing more in the way of reviews. So again, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you get all of that. And I'm actually considering making a video as for this project as a whole. So that way I can tell you or explain to you kind of the thought process that was going on while I was doing this. So again, make sure to stay tuned for that. You can also find me on social media. Those links are always down in the description below. All right, until next time, remember to keep calm and build on.